This for Illinois bred three-year-old pacing fillies who earned consideration for the right to start in this event based on points scored at county fair events throughout the summer. Win, play, show, exact, a trifecta wagering, no scratches. Fred Finn Jr. drives the two sport and diamonds. Tom Graham Jr. drives the five heli. Lasix again today for the one. Skips torpedo post time in five minutes. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Skips Torpedo is owned by Steve Titus of Charleston, trained by Rebecca Mudd. The driver is Dave McGee. Number two, Sport and Diamonds is owned by Andrea Rice and Andrew Robinson of Warden, Illinois, trained by Quentin Wade Barbary, Fred Finn Jr. in the bike. Number three, Tattle Time is owned by John Davis of Starkville, Mississippi. Mike Rogers trains and drives. Number four, Broadway Liaison, owned by Brenda Watson of Fairfield, trained by her son Trent Watson. The driver is Eric Ledford. Number five, Helly, is owned by Shelley Graham of Salem, trained and driven by Buzzy Graham. Number six, Clear Creek Page, is owned by Carol Yazel of Lincoln, who's also the trainer, and Larry Leesman of Atlanta is the co-owner. Ron Marsh is the driver. BR Lady, number seven, is owned by DuCoin's Gene Melville, the trainer driver, Ray Gash. Number eight, Katie Bell, is owned by Donald Coleman of Lebanon, Illinois, by Jim Geis of Chicago, trained by Irvin Miller, the driver, Andy Miller. Number nine, Dance With Me, Rachel, is owned by Tom Throgmorton of nearby Carbondale, trained and driven by West Frankfurt's Joe Hott, and the ten, Lady Bidmore, whom we just saw on the monitors, owned by Homer Henke of Morrow and Bob Walker of Carrollton, trained by Bob Walker, the driver, Michael Osting. Win, play, show, exact a trifecta wagering post time in Glad only three minutes this afternoon. They are off and pacing. Dance with me, Rachel, on the far outside. Helly between horses. Tattle time is showing speed. And then Sport and Diamonds down toward the rail. Tattle time and Helly come to the front together past Sport and Diamonds, who travels in third. Clear Creek Page will settle against the rail in the fourth position as they go toward the quarter. Helly is on top a length and a half. Tattle time second by three. Sport and Diamonds third by two. Clear Creek Page is racing in the fourth position. Katie Bell is parked in fifth, moving up around BR Lady, who is sixth. 26. Six and three, a quick opening quarter as they enter the back stretch. Further back, it is Dance With Me, Rachel, Skips, Torpedo, and then Lady Bidmore next to last, and a gap of a dozen more lengths back to Broadway Liaison, who trails the field. Helly is on top by a length, Tattle Time is second, and here comes Clear Creek Page with a rush. Clear Creek Page and Katie Bell moving right behind her. Clear Creek Page, the new leader at the half by a length. Helly is second, Katie Bell moves up third, Tattle Time is shuffled to fourth, and Sportin' Diamonds is fifth. They got the half in 56 seconds. Into the far turn, Katie Bell is up to get the lead on the outside. Clear Creek Page is racing in second by two lengths. Helly is third by just a neck as they approach the three quarters. And then Sportin' Diamonds up on the outside now takes third. They are followed by Lady Bidmore. Tattle time is shuffled back now, eight lengths off the lead. And Katie Bell has got the lead at the three quarters by three parts of a length. Clear Creek Page is still second toward the inside. Three quarters and 124 and two, they turn for home. Top of the stretch, Clear Creek Page fights back on the inside of Katie Bell. Five more lengths back to Lady Bidmore in third. And then Sportin' Diamonds is fourth. Past the eighth pole, Clear Creek Page is resilient. Fights back to get the lead by two lengths from Katie Bell, who's racing in the second position. Lady Bidmore coming late on the grandstand side. Look at Lady Bidmore gobbling up ground on Clear Creek Page. Katie Bell third. Lady Bidmore gets up to win it by two lengths. Lady Bidmore the winner unofficially with Clear Creek Page second, Katie Bell third in 154 and one. And Joe's gonna present the blanket to the unofficial winner of race nine, number 10, Lady Bidmore. Goes off at double digit odds of 17 to one, owned by Homer Henke of Morrow, who's there trackside in the green shirt. Bob Walker, the trainer and co-owner, is congratulating driver Michael Osting right now. Bob is from Carrollton. And Michael Osting, the winning driver, Sean Walker, and Jeff Driscoll, a whole lot of folks from Greene County about to get their picture made in victory lane at DuCoin. Hart Walker is there as well. Folks, how about a hand for the winner, Lady Bidmore. Ten six eight one is still the unofficial result. This winning filly bred by Bob Walker and Homer Hankey. She is a sportsmaster filly 
154 and 1. She knocks seven seconds off her lifetime record. Big tip of the hat to our track crew for their great work here this week. The result is official. And by the way, folks, there have been uh, so much talk in the last couple of years about patriotism here in the U.S. And that man who trains this horse, Mr. Bob Walker, served his country. He is a veteran of the Vietnam War. Bob, congratulations on the win with Lady Bidmore. Rundown coming up.